In this Black Myth Wukong video, I bring you a complete guide on how you unlock the early game secret Dragon Boss and Dragon Staff weapon, also various other little treasures you will be rewarded too. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ, now to celebrate the release of Black Myth Wukong, I am giving a copy away. Now to win one for yourself or even a friend who wants to play, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my Black Myth Wukong videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick one winner from the comment section of one of my videos and announce them at the end of the week. So good luck everybody. Okay, so there are many early game secrets you can easily miss within Black Myth Wukong. And today guys we cover one of the best ones uh, this will see you encountering a secret dragon boss who goes by the name of red long and upon you defeating him you get some pretty amazing rewards including a dragon staff called the long wraith staff uh, so yes let's get into it people firstly you need to take on and defeat the rat king of flowing sands and his prince son his son goes by the name of the second prince of flowing sands now you find these within the Sangate village and from the village entrance shrine you want to follow this direction I take on screen now to this boss fight. So when you get here guys, you will find a Rat King and his son the Prince. Now you can defeat either or, in whichever order you want, both lead you on the same path. It's just there's a slight difference in outcome. Now if you defeat the Rat King first, the Rat Prince enrages and becomes a little more difficult to defeat. But if this is the order in which you do this, upon you defeating the Enraged Rat Prince, you get the Pungent Flesh Chunk which you can indeed use to summon the next boss you have to take on. Now if you defeat the Rat Prince first, the Rat King, his father, runs off, which is the order I recommend you doing this in, but it really doesn't matter. So upon you overcoming this fight, you now want to access that nearby shrine, obviously. You then want to push forward in the direction I take on screen now. So you will then come to this point right here, where if you defeated the Rat Prince first and left his father alive, the Rat King will summon his other son, the first Prince of the Flowing Sands. Now if you didn't do that in this order, you can then just use that fleshy chunk that you got for defeating the, the Prince's son to summon this boss. Again, the first Prince of the Flowing Sands. Either or guys, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to use this first Prince of the Flowing Sands to open up the secret path for us to push through. This is done by standing next to this big red wall and having the first Prince of the Flowing Sands run at you head first. If you time this right and dodge out of the way, him running head first, he will leave a crack in that wall, which you can go through after you've taken out this bus. Now if you've already progressed past this uh, without breaking that wall and already taken out this boss, you can use other means to come back here and crack your own way through. So to do this guys, if you have the wandering white spirit, you can use this headbutt to break your way through the wall. Now if you're yet to get this, it's quite easy. Head to the early game shrine of outside the forest within the Black Wind Mountain, push slightly forward and on your right hand side, you will see the wandering white enemy. Upon you taking him out and claiming what's here, when you next visit any shrine, you will see that option to retrieve spirits. Once you've done this, you can then equip the wandering white within your inventory and then just use him to headbutt this wall. It's as simple as that. So once you travel through that gap in that wall, a chest awaits you. 
Once you open that chest, you are rewarded the long scales. And this is the item which unlocks the secret waterfall and that dragon boss. So once you have this guys, you now want to head back to your nearest shrine and travel back to the outside the forest shrine within the black wing mountain, yes, where the wandering white is found. Now once you are here guys, follow the path I take on screen now to this waterfall. Now once you get here guys, clear out the ads uh, that are here and then you can dispel or examine the waterfall which leads you then into this dragon boss fight. Now the boss is called the Red Lung and it can be a bit of a pain in the ass, I won't lie. Now a few tips for you. Your aim is to do enough damage by whatever means possible until he falls on his side. Here you have about 10 to 15 seconds upon him being on his side. You want to run around or jump around to the back of him so you can hit those canisters of electricity on his back. Upon you do enough damage to these, they explode and take a massive chunk of his health off. Now be warned, if he falls on his side and you run round to the back of him and you're hitting his canisters, if you don't do enough damage to cause him to explode, he can, well most of the time for me anyway, he'll get up and do an instant devastating attack which more or less takes half your health off, so be warned about that. Also during the battle when you see those canisters on his back starting to spark, it normally means he's about to use an electricity attack, uh, these are a lot more devastating than his normal swipe so keep an eye out on that. Now upon you taking him out, a chest spawns behind him. Upon you opening it, you get a few key items. You get the cat eye beads. These slightly increase that critical hit chance. You also get a couple of crafting materials in the long pearl and the thunder tail. And you also get the long wrath staff, which is said to be the best early game weapon. That's on offer. So yeah, don't quote me on that. I'm yet to craft it, but that's what I've read anyway. So yes, do what you got to do, guys. And there you have it. This is how you find the secret dragon boss of red lung do what you gotta do people and claim these rewards guys the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one